besides being two of the most famous singers in the world. Usher and Diddy are two tycoons who know how to spend their immense fortunes. But have you ever wondered which of them has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a fierce battle between Diddy and Usher. So, let's fight! Cars! Both artists invest large sums in beautiful vehicles, but who has the most expensive garage? Diddy, for example, has been seen with the following cars. A Jeep Wrangler Unlimited for more extreme rides, a rugged 4x4 that costs about $35,000, a Cadillac Escalade, with which he was involved in a traffic accident. This car costs about $75,000. A Chevrolet Corvette, a collectible vehicle worth about $100,000. A Ferrari 360 Medina Spider, a luxury sports car that costs about $110,000. A stylish Ferrari F430 Spider capable of reaching a top speed of 193 miles per hour, which justifies its price of $217,000. An iconic Lamborghini Gallardo Spider, a high-performance sports car capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds. And the price of this machine reaches that of $300,000. And perhaps the most expensive car in the rapper's garage is his Rolls-Royce Phantom, one of the largest and most refined sedans in existence, being worth around $450,000. Usher, on the other hand, is a singer with a passion for cars and owns a fine collection of cars, such as $12,000 Ducati Monster 1100 EVO, $13,000 Ducati 848 Evo, $35,000 Brawler GTC, $37,000 Mercedes-Benz A-Class, $42,000 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, $45,000 Mercedes-Benz SL R129, $52,000 Range Rover Evoque, $72,000 Mercedes CLS Class, $95,000 Cadillac Escalade, $120,000 Tesla Model X, $140,000 Mercedes Benz G63, $210,000 Back Mono. Even more expensive and luxurious, Usher has already been spotted getting out of a Ferrari F430, a supercar that is every car enthusiast's dream. The vehicle is capable of accelerating from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 4 seconds and can reach a top speed of 195 miles per hour. And although it hasn't been manufactured since 2009, its price is still quite steep, being found at around $220,000. Usher has also taken pictures with a Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG, a very luxurious convertible car. The vehicle is equipped with an impressive engine, capable of accelerating from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 3.8 seconds, and it is no wonder that depending on the year and model, its price can exceed $300,000. Already in the millions, he has been seen with a Porsche Carrera GT, one of Porsche's most exclusive cars. To get an idea of the price, you may have to fork over $1.2 million to purchase this vehicle. The most expensive car Usher has ever seen is an Arash AF10, a British super sports car equipped with a 2100 plus horsepower engine. And to give you an idea of how exclusive this vehicle is, it is estimated to cost around $1.5 million. And for being seen with more expensive cars, Usher wins this round. Point for him! Main Mansion both singers spare no expense on beautiful homes, but which of them owns the most luxurious property? Currently, Usher owns a boho-style residence in Los Angeles that was previously owned by Cara and Poppy Delavine. In a video for Architectural Digest, the two opened the doors of the mid-century built home, which was recently renovated. With over 4,000 square feet, the residence has a decor that is reminiscent of nature, bringing a unique charm to each of the interior spaces. The dining room has a glass table in the center, decorated with plants and a small handmade chandelier, while the kitchen has white cabinets, a marble island, and stainless steel appliances. There are a total of four bedrooms in the residence, one of which is for guests, featuring plant wallpapers and a cozy bunk bed for visitors to rest in. Another bedroom has a tropical decor in blue and white colors, as well as animal wallpapers, which create the perfect atmosphere for relaxing. 
The master suite, on the other hand, has a predominance of the color wine on the walls and furniture, with a large 11-foot bed and a living room with TV and fireplace, as well as a stunning private bathroom with copper linings. In addition to this bathroom, the house also has three others, one of which has an embossed toilet. Other rooms in the residence include a party room with beautiful portraits on the walls, a game room with leaf-printed seating, a classic pinball machine, and a sophisticated bar for party days. Going outside, the plot of over an acre has lovely verandas, close to the natural vegetation that makes the climate pleasant daily, besides having wooden decks and a patio with a rustic-style dining table, ideal for casual meals with the family. In the backyard, there is a patio with sun loungers for sunbathing, as well as a luxurious swimming pool with a separate jacuzzi, a built-in barbecue area, and even a cabana among the trees for enjoying nature. According to some sources, this house was also once owned by Jared Leto until Cara and Poppy Delevingne purchased the residence in 2017 for $2 million, and Usher bought the property from them in September 2022 for $3.4 million. Meanwhile, Diddy's most valuable property is his main mansion, set up as a European-style villa in the Holmby Hills neighborhood. In a video for Vogue's 73 Questions, Sean Combs showed off some of the luxurious rooms in his cleanly designed mansion, which is 17,000 square feet in size. The open layout venue integrates a bar, which on the day of the recording had a professional waiter to prepare drinks and serve them to the singer. Another place Diddy showed off in the video was a more private living space, which features a classical piano nearby, as well as a table with awards and trophies the rapper has won over the years of his career. The rapper's mansion even has other impressive amenities, as it was built under specifications by developer Niall Niami. There is, for example, a beautiful hall at the entrance, as well as several living rooms which, at the time of the records, had a more classical and formal style, but which seemed to have been redecorated when the rapper bought it. The place also has a game room and a wine cellar for drinks, next to a green wall kitchen, as well as having 11 luxurious bathrooms, a library with wooden bookshelves, and 8 cozy suites. Outside, the mansion's lot is 1.3 acres, featuring wooded gardens, a casual dining area, a tennis practice court, and a resort-style pool that features an underwater tunnel. According to media reports, Diddy bought this mansion in 2014, shelling out a whopping $39 million for it. In other words, Diddy easily wins this round. Point for him! Overspending! Both music stars lead ostentatious lives, but which one has the most extravagant spending? Usher, for example, has been spotted with beautiful watches, such as $7,000 Payne Rye Radio Mirror Black Seal, $8,000 Breitling for Bentley, $15,000 Payne Rye Luminar Marina, $17,000 Cartier Pasha Chronograph, $39,000 Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak, $70,000 Rolex Cosmograph Daytona, $250,000 Tyrod Usher Custom Watch, and even a $450,000 Brunel Escape II. Diddy is not far behind. Some sources point to Combs having already surprised his son Justin on his 16th birthday with a Maybach 57, a luxury super vehicle, with it being quite rare on the second-hand car market. No wonder it costs around $360,000. For his mother, meanwhile, the rapper presented her on her 80th birthday with a Bentley Mulsanne that can cost around $300,000, plus a check for $1 million. Like most rappers, he also likes to show off by composing his looks with luxury jewelry and watches. He has even shown his vast collection of accessories that are worth a small fortune on his social networks. Some of the New Yorker's watch models include a $38,000 Rolex Day Date 2, a $139,000 Audemars Pichuet Offshore Chandelier, a $190,000 Richard Mill RM11-03 McLaren, a $332,000 Beauvet Fleurier Amadeo 7-day Skeleton Turbillion, a $450,000 Patek Philippe Nautilus, a $516,000 Beauvet Fleurier Turbillion Virtuoso 3, an extremely luxurious and rare Jacob & Company, Royal 5 Time Zone valued at an unbelievable $1 million, among many others. When it comes to jewelry, the rapper has shown that he has money to spare when he threw his $500,000 chain to the audience during his concert. Another episode of Diddy's absurd spending was on artwork. 
In 2018 he bought, for example, the Past Times painting by artist Carrie James Marshall for an unbelievable $21,100,000. And because he spends more than his opponent, Diddy wins this round. Point for him. Aircraft Both artists like to travel in luxury and comfort, but which one has the most expensive jet at their disposal? To get around the world, Usher uses private planes. For example, he has been seen leaving a Citation Sovereign, a medium-sized executive jet. The interior of the aircraft has a maximum capacity of up to 12 passengers depending on its configuration. And although it is not known whether Usher owns this jet, it is known that its price is estimated at around $18 million, or it can be rented for around $10,000 per flight hour. Diddy, for his part, is not far behind. The model of the rapper's jet is the Gulfstream G550, one of the safest and best-performing air transports in the world, capable of reaching speeds close to the speed of sound. The interior of the jet is very comfortable and luxurious, and can hold up to 16 passengers depending on the configuration adopted. To get an idea of the price, it is estimated that Diddy's aircraft cost around $60 million. The rapper really has to be very rich to disperse all this money and to be able to afford the various expenses of the jet. So it's clear that Diddy wins this round. Score 1 Other Properties Both singers have lived in different places throughout their careers, but which one has the most luxurious property? Usher, for example, once owned an impressive mansion in a gated community in Alpharetta, Georgia. The property is over 10,000 square feet in area and has contemporary yet traditional architecture. Going inside, there is a beautiful curvilinear staircase, which is next to a cozy living room for receiving guests, where there is a fireplace and bookshelves on the wall. In all, there are 10 bathrooms in the residence, as well as 7 charming bedrooms. The master suite, for example, has a decor that exudes luxury, as well as a spacious private bathroom with a bathtub for relaxing. Outside, there is a lawn area perfect for leisure time, as well as wooden decks and a resort-style patio with a large heated pool, which is next to a barbecue area. Besides Usher, another famous person who lived in this house was L.A. Reid, and the singer bought the property in the late 1990s for $1.2 million, until he sold it in 2018 for the princely sum of $1.5 million, despite initially asking for $2.5 million. Raising the price further, Usher had another luxury mansion in Georgia, located in a gated community in the city of Roswell. It is a palatial-style property of almost 13,000 square feet in area, which has well-crafted architectural details and a classic configuration in the decoration of the rooms. At the entrance of the mansion is a foyer with a crystal chandelier and an elegant staircase leading to the second floor, while the main living room has large glass windows and a modern fireplace in the center. The dining room has a formal composition, while the gourmet kitchen has dark-colored cabinets and stainless steel appliances. Going into the master suite, there are large arched windows that bring natural light into the interior, creating a sense of well-being daily, as well as integrating a private sitting area and a private bathroom for the owners. The mansion also has 11 bathrooms, a breakfast area, a formal office with woodwork, a clean family room, and a modern home theater with custom seating that offers a movie-like experience, not to mention a wine cellar. Going outside, the lot is over 4 acres, and is surrounded by natural landscaping that brings a sense of tranquility, as well as having a lake-shaped pool. According to media reports, Usher sold the house in 2013 for only $2.2 million, despite having bought it in 2007 for $3.04 million. Another property that Usher once owned was a Spanish architecture mansion in the Hollywood Hills, in the area above the Sunset Strip. Built in 1926, the residence has been restored in recent years and is over 4,200 square feet, containing a modern dining room and six bathrooms showered with luxury. Usher sold the property for $3.3 million, although he originally asked for $4.2 million. In addition to these residences, Usher is known to have had his eye on a few apartments. One of them was a 3,000-square-foot unit in the Little Singer building, which has four bedrooms and two bathrooms showered with luxury, being valued at $3.85 million. Another apartment he visited was a penthouse on Allen Street, which is over 2,600 square feet, containing four bedrooms and two fancy bathrooms, and is estimated to be priced at $5.5 million. 
but Diddy is not far behind in this dispute. He is speculated to own an apartment in nearby Miami Beach in the state of Florida, purchased in 2012 for $2.7 million. Another property he has in this very sought-after region is a mansion on Star Island Drive, which is 13,700 square feet in size and situated on a one-acre lot. According to some sources, Diddy purchased the mansion in 2003 for $14,500,000. But that's not the rapper's only residence in that area, as in 2021, he bought the mansion next door. The two-story, Floridian-style property sits in front of the beach, being about 8,000 square feet and being located atop a 1.3-acre lot where Diddy can live in luxury in one of Florida's most coveted regions. The living room has a clean decor that brings more lightness to the area, turning itself into the ideal space for social gatherings, while the very spacious kitchen has large countertops and great white cabinets, besides integrating a breakfast area. There is also a formal dining area, 10 sophisticated bathrooms and an elegant piano room with large arched glass windows. In total there are six bedrooms, among which there are some suites. The master suite, for example, has a luxurious marble-clad bathroom and a modern walk-in closet. Outside, the lawns offer privileged views of the bay, integrating a charming private pier. There are also tropical and many palm trees throughout the grounds, as well as a resort-style pool with a separate spa to relax in, plus there are relaxing patios and a barbecue area. Diddy bought the mansion for $35 million, but the original listing was asking for the unbelievable sum of $40 million on the location. Considering the price of real estate, Diddy easily wins this round. Business both singers also have other sources of income offstage, but who stands out more in business? Besides making a lot of money as a singer, Usher has been able to invest his money well, founding his own record label called Raymond Braun Media Group, which has as its main artist the singer Justin Bieber. He has also been the face of campaigns for brands such as Honey Nut Cheerios Cereal and Remy Martin Cognac, among others. Diddy, for his part, has his business portfolio controlled by Combs Enterprises, which manages all his companies. One of the arms of this company is his fashion brand Sean John, which has already been successful all over the world. Another sector that the rapper invests in is alcoholic drinks. In 2007, he signed a contract to help develop the Ciroc brand of vodka, earning 50% of the profits on the sales of the drink. Sean also owns half of the tequila brand De Leon and is one of the owners, alongside actor Mark Wahlberg, of the calorie-free drink company aimed at athletes called Aqua Hydrate. As if all these ventures weren't enough, Diddy has a large shareholding in the television network Revolt TV, which also produces movies. However, in 2019, Combs became a major investor in Play VS, a company that develops competitive video games for U.S. high schools. And because Diddy has more varied ventures, he wins this round. Net Worth As two successful singers, there's no doubt that they have amassed huge fortunes. But who has the biggest net worth? Usher, for example, has already built a big empire. Back in the days when record sales generated a lot of money for singers, Usher was one of the best-selling artists of all time, having sold over 100 million records worldwide. Currently, Usher still manages to make a lot of money from streaming platforms. Only on Spotify, for example, he has the 10 most listened to songs, with about 3.5 billion plays, which may have generated something around $14 million. On YouTube, Usher has a channel with more than 7 million subscribers, and all his videos have more than 5.5 billion views, which may have earned him something close to $22 million. The concerts that the artist performs are also an excellent source of income because it is estimated that to hire him it is necessary to pay around $1 million. And although nobody knows exactly how much his fortune is, many sources estimate that during his entire career, Usher has managed to accumulate a net worth of approximately $180 million. Meanwhile, as founder of the Bad Boy Entertainment record label, Diddy is making great financial gains, after all. He owns music rights to various artists and receives royalties. Not to mention that the company has been targeted by several groups interested in buying it, being valued at its peak at $100 million. But Sean didn't just limit himself to the music market, which contributed to the further growth of his wealth. With the successful sales of Sean John's clothing brand, he has gone on to make revenues of over $525 million annually. 
the brand was so successful that it even received an investor's contribution of around $100 million in 2003. Until in 2016, Diddy sold 90% of Sean John to Global Brands Group. The value of the deal was not disclosed, but the entrepreneur certainly pocketed a lot of money. Until he bought back his brand in 2021 from the bankrupt owner for $7,500,000. We also can't forget the contribution of the following brands to Combs Wealth, Vodka Ciroc, Tequila De Leon, Aquahydrate Drinks, and the Revolt TV Network. Taking into consideration Diddy's personal earnings for all his sources of income over time, it was reported in the media that he made about $28 million in 2007, $35 million in 2008, $90 million in 2022, and up to $130 million in 2017, becoming the highest paid musician of the year according to Forbes. With him making so much money for over three decades, in 2022 Sean Combs officially earned the title of billionaire, with an estimated net worth of $1 billion. Even such, he surpassed Kanye West's net worth and became second only to Jay-Z in the ranking of the richest names in hip-hop. And because he has a higher estimated fortune, Diddy wins this last round. Point for him! At the end of this fight, we had one point for Usher against six points for Diddy, who wins this battle handily. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.